hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm here with another short video on revit and iesve um, i will try to point out some issues i faced and i will try to solve them for you uh, this is the project i am currently working on it's a school and it's actually a very uh, huge school it's not seen that much but um, if you can see the size of the windows you can guess it's a huge school and it's just two floored um, has a lot of windows and openings and have two atriums and a courtier in the middle so um, while I was taking this project to ISVE I faced some issues first of all I had to simplify the whole plan uh, the plan is not this simple there are more edges over here there are more um, crooks and cannies over here if you can see the, these kind of edges are more in the real floor plan so I had to simplify and it is told by um, it is suggested by the ISVE tutorial themselves that you need to simplify your model so one of the problems I faced was these corners another thing was I wanted to distinguish between the walls of the interior and the exterior walls which created this kind of problems on Revit which is if you see very teeny tiny um, uh, edges it doesn't match and this created a problem so don't do this one just go ahead with a simple uh, basic wall it could be 8 inch or 6 inch depending on the structure of your building just go ahead with one kind of wall only uh, this is another problem if I if you see over here I had few edges and it showed in the report of my ASV that it's not the, the edges doesn't match so um, yeah this was one problem secondly one uh, I didn't know why it happened if you see uh, I have created like different uh, roof because when I was exporting my atriums you was coming correct like it's it was coming as an uh, ex um, um, empty void but the courtyard was coming as a whole space and the roof was all uh, already like attached the reason was when I drew my um, the roof I have drawn it over the wall so let me show you what I mean about it so uh, let's just delete this and I'm going to show you again uh, how I did it so in this case don't bother drawing any kind of ceiling or slab I just use the normal floor uh, you can change the properties of these again in the thermal pro like the construction profile or something in this case don't bother um, I have to not do that so I have to click on it paste a line to selected revel I will paste it in the roof now I want to create my voids in this case um, edit boundary so the issues what I did or the mistake I have done was drawing it on the outside of the wall instead of inside so what you have to do is take it from the interior face of your wall in this case it will be for the atrium in this way and for the void or for the courtyard also it's going to be from the inside from the inside in this case um, I'm not going to just con do it uh, con like complete it but this is how it should be otherwise it's not going to be taken uh, into it, it will not be read with the IES and it will be taken as a space and the space will be closed uh, for its void so let me show you it in, uh, this one in the ISV this is the model I have taken this is the one which I remodeled like um, I had to do come do it again so let me open it in the model viewer it takes a bit time because of my 
uh, size if you can see right now it's properly taken there is the floor and these are two atriums it's properly closed and everything there are no holes although it brings it, it gives some kind of error but um, the energy analysis is done properly if you see all these windows are taken so I have contacted uh, with one of uh, ISV specialist and he told me that it is always better to model it in the scratch from scratch in the ISV but since if you if you can see I have a huge project with a lot of windows it's gonna be too cons uh, time consuming for me to do it on ISV and do it very uh, properly so if you want to use Revit if this is the way um, in a I have found something um, if you want to fix any kind of uh, spaces so let's say I want to fix these spaces the report is showing me that there is something wrong with this one you could come in the model IET uh, select on the space it doesn't work multiple so you need to select each space uh, single space you could type on the command up here tidy and press enter so it will just rebuild and regenerate the inner volume for your model so it's gonna come over here because i just did the tidy right now it's a second floor space um, another way to do it is um, if you can just right click and say remove openings if you have any kind of external holes or internal holes anything you could open it from here you could edit opening add voids um, or something create story you could do that uh, I have tried edit openings and remove openings for the external holes and it worked fine so yeah that's for to, for today um hope this was hope helpful for you and if there is any um, suggestions if there is any kind of question just comment below and see you next time